Hello, and welcome to the Olden World Audiobook. What is the Olden World, you may ask? Well, it's a story. And the shortness of this answer is inversely proportional to the size and scope of what you're about to embark on. Twelve books, two million words, one thousand chapters, and in case of the audiobook itself, over two hundred hours of listening and more than three years in the making, most of it being recorded and published on a daily basis. Now, the compressed version of what the story is about might be best described by a comment by the author himself, uh, slightly edited for brevity. Quote, <clears throat> With all things said and done, I'm still proud of this story. The best single description I can give it is that this story is about the friends of an abnormally powerful, determined, and lonely kid wandering around continents in search of a way to be normal. Stolit is the main character on paper, but it's more about the things that happen around her and in her wake. Scientific discoveries, financial conspiracies, government attention, societal upheaval, legendary monsters, harmony, and the powers that be. The first third of the story is more about the formation of Starlight's friend group, while the rest focuses on their collective nomadic quest, a bunch of ponies with a shared wanderlust and a deep sense that the grass is greener on the other side. What this eventually reads like is a very slow-paced form of world-building, where everything has some thought put into it, but it takes a while to get to the point, and you can never quite tell what's going to be relevant later. With the exception of a few high-stakes moments, it's definitely not a thriller. I'd say it's worth giving a try if you're looking for, or feel like you'd enjoy, a slower-paced slice-of-life adventure with a lot of world-building, magitech, scenery, and a mostly OC cast. It's not as much worth your time if you're looking for a heavily edited, tightly-paced action story where every scene is there for a reason, and nothing deserves the benefit of the doubt. End quote. And if you're looking for a more detailed, yet entirely void of context idea of what you might be seeing, we have role models, multiple types of plot armor, rapid roll calls, pulling double duty, crate expectations, hereditary vendettas, workarounds, heel face turns, airships, river ships, sinking ships, friendships, shipping and ship fix, soul searching, self searching, traditional foods, Missing DLLs, forced updates, compatibility issues, ancient monsters, ancient benevolent entities, sincerity under pressure, fancy tables, non-canonical levels of competence, cute bat ponies, creepy bat ponies, zealous bat ponies, a strong sense of property, lie detectors, scenery porn and weird artwork, unexpected politeness, horses breaking, hippocratic oaths, color-cutted fuel, serious muttering, magic statues, tormented statues, speed dating, ICBM strikes, no spoilers, casual use of the word pon-pons, loot barrels, massive fire damage. Damage, history repeating, trapped dungeons, recaps, ruined weddings, unexpectedly granted wishes, driving ambitions, feeling of inadequacy, actual inadequacy, bad places for a conversation, putting too fine a pressure point on things, obey or die, pouting, retracing your steps, a battle on a big bridge, aborted plans, restarted plans, squick, elevated privileges, multi minute free falls, catharsis, pineapple grilling, flashy propaganda, soul sucking, transformation sequences, hog therapy, semi consensual cuddling, role models, investment services, Accidental murder, distrust, motor mouthing, subcontracted songwriting, pancaking, party glue, haunting, full circles, researching, permitted magic, dramatic telling of the most boring story ever, monster filled missiles, griffins of unusual size, sphinxes of even more unusual size, pony pillows, glass ceilings, and transparent floors, deadly pranks, digging a hole for yourself and others. 
Pre-science, casual Street Fighter references, academia, defensive powers over engineering, vandalism, staring into the abyss, projection, white knuckle, raging yak combat, butt cracks, butt magic blasts, vast tracts of land, fiscal status seeking, status quo, discoloration and colorblindness, stopping in bad country, ill-advised invasions, geometric precision, off-screen deaths, nags of holding and other implausible containers, genuine relaxation, enduring post-traumatic stress disorder, accidentally an avatar, intentional dromedary mislabeling, gratuitous ice sculptures, omnivorism, talking in third person, talking without contractions, talking as a free action, talking to yourself, overclocking and water cooling, altitudinal indifference, eugenics, stepping stones, a load of hot air, friendship means defeat, secret entrances, both gratuitous and purpose-bearing murals, cavalry arriving traditionally late, cavalry arriving uselessly on time, hypothetical perspectives, ancient booths, shipjacking, forgetting the point, self-imposed conformity, underwater excursions, fangirling, conspiracies, triage, possession as a recurring theme, salty pirates, smuggling, conspicuous geography, EXPLOSIONS! Utter desperation, unintentional mind control, drastic precautions, ominous visions, dramatic reveals, taste testing, next level virtue signaling, diplomacy, fluttershying, fearing destiny, defying destiny, psychological warfare, skill grinding, bureaucracy, deduction, difficult choices, anxiety, flashbacks, bravely running away, brainwashing, 100% sneak skill, bad dietary choices, passion projects, dark shades and red and black goatees, panic attacks, origin stories, technology theft, cutting grass, eating grass, historical exposition, historical punctuality, blackmail material, honeycomb force fields, literally eating yourself, just KISS ALREADY! Stopping before the slippery slope, pretending to be normal, security system whack-a-mole, unexpected power outages, surprise reunions, civil wars, poofing and pomping, difficult decisions, alter egos, nameless spouses, murderous fanatics, heresy, substitute deities, snowfield train rides, pony piles, girl talk, break-ins, house rivalries, fatalism, retcons, shady child merchants, sneak attack with a wig, inevitable suddenness, plot savviness, lip hazard, pattern awareness, steaming hot mares, camera licking during a video call, environmental disasters, spooky spheres, gambles, discontinuity, machinery powered by forsaken children, and over 50 named characters who aren't wearing any pants. Hopefully that didn't scare too many people off. But with that out of the way, and on to the audiobook itself, I do hope you enjoy this journey with me. Looking back, it starts off clumsy and rough, but once I finally came out of the closet, uh, literally, that is, as you can probably tell from the boxy sound, I gradually started to get more confident and relaxed. I'm also pretty proud of myself for managing to stick with a chapter a day schedule for most of the story, at least up until sometime after chapter 900, mostly due to, quote, circumstances, unquote, so there's that. I also want to give huge thanks to a person of stone who joined around chapter 453 and proceeded to proof listen every chapter since then with thoroughness and dedication that was nothing short of stunning and quite probably far greater than that. Not to mention the suggestions, commentary, and random banter about the story so far in PMs, since both of us were more or less keeping up with the story as it was being recorded. And finally, don't like, comment, or subscribe if you don't want to. If you do that, that's great, but the whole YouTube algorithm game is something I don't feel like playing. On the other hand, at the time of writing this, I am in the process of copying a slightly better processed version of this audiobook to PeerTube, so if YouTube's too much to deal with, check out the link in the description. In the meantime, thank you for listening to this, and... Happy listening.